Welcome back to the channel. Now in this episode we carry on travelling around the north coast of the Dingle Peninsula and we visit a creek where it's said that a great journey began. But Stu has an incident when fishing. It's just not 100% right for some reason, I don't know why. <laughs> and we both start to feel a bit unsettled and down about our trip because it's soon coming to an end. But as ever, Stu treats us both before finding a fantastic park up. And it reminds us of how lucky we are, so hang on till the end of the video. Welcome to Getaway Geese. We are Stu and Jane, and with Harry, our Ford Custom Auto Camper, we share our adventures. So join us in this Our Rough Guide series to campervanning in Ireland. We left you in the last episode at a quiet remote car park, which this memorial has been placed for the massacre of 600 Spanish, Italian and Irish men and women by the English forces. And this morning we're on the move early, as we decide to find a breakfast viewpoint and have a cuppa. The narrow, overgrown access roads to the car park yet again take it out on Harry. But he's getting used to it, as that is what he's been built for. And we keep saying to ourselves, no pain, no gain. If you enjoy our videos, please give us a like, subscribe and click that notification button as it really helps promote our channel. The roads soon open up to a vista of blue skies above a dramatic horizon. We arrive at the car park and it's overlooking Doonin Pier and not a bad view it is either. And it looks like this pier can be a dangerous place in certain conditions. This old boat looks like the one that we saw at Dunquin Pier although it's a little worse for wear as it shows the exposed wooden ribs of the boat. Well, I certainly wouldn't be walking along here in a storm. We simply laze about in Harry for a few hours before having lunch, which has to be one of the great things a camper van gives us and something we seem to be becoming experts in. And the day gets even better as Stu has promised me a pub lunch and who am I to refuse it? So we backtrack to a little village at Ballynanool, or Bally David as it's also known. Apologies for my pronunciation. Harry to meet Harry. And we pass another Irish Harry hiding on the way. It's a really pretty little fishing village, but unfortunately today it's too windy to send up Tom the drone. But more importantly, the village has a pub that's open and serving food. Halloween has just passed and apparently they had a really busy night. Happy days. <laughs> and what a great day for a ride after a really nice lunch. And we're not the only one that's enjoying the scenery. We reach a place called Brandon Creek. According to old 9th century documentation, St Brendan set sail from here in the 6th century across the Atlantic. And we find a nice little corner to tuck Harry into. 
and again it appears those traditional fishing boats are here as well. And we find out that the adventurer Tim Severin took a five-man crew across the Atlantic in 1976 to prove that the journey was possible. Setting off from Tralee on a replica handcrafted 36-foot Kurok. They landed in Canada 13 months later, having stopped off at the Hebrides and Iceland. And that's two more destinations on our bucket list. So the river's definitely gone up. We heard that all last night, but it didn't bother us. No, it's nice, isn't it's it? It's nice, Look at that background. Tinnitus, <laughs> natural tinnitus. <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> well, I'm trying poached eggs again with those bags again this morning. So the verdict is they poach well. I just don't know it's worth the expense when you can just get a plastic one, to be honest, it'll last forever. We enjoyed that, that stump off. Um, two things, we didn't have signal, but we lived. Uh, that's one of the few times that we've not had signal since we've been in our so can't complain. Stu managed to read more than one page of his book. <laughs> Slept through the stream all night, which was yeah. definitely more swollen this morning for the rain, it rain all night. Yeah, it was really it loud as well. Down. Oh, there she goes again. It was really loud as well, but um, it didn't bother us at all. It's it's quite a nice sound to listen to, to be honest. I tried to go Just fishing. Three kilometres on the current road. Got myself already, went down fishing. And then I tangled my line around the spool, so trying to undo that. There's the little uh, nut that sits on top of the spool. Undo that, drops it, drops down by my feet, rolls over, over the pier, into the water. <laughs> End of fishing for the trip. Yeah. So, he's a bit sad about that. <sighs> Story of my fishing. So, we've had a slow morning. Um, I did walk up the hill at one point to see if I could get uh, internet, which is a bit sad. It, it, it was quite good. I didn't want to do it all the time. And back up on the road from the pier, I came across this memorial dedicated to St. Brendan. This face is a little spooky, and that's just mine. We're too big to do. Officially, Connor Pass, it says 1.8 meters wide, we're obviously 2.08, 1.8 is quite, quite narrow so you won't get many vans, it's less than that, so it's cars more than anything else, and less than two tons, well we're In three 400 tons. meters turn left. Now whether that's legal or whether that's a guideline, I don't know. So we decide to leave going up to the Connor Pass and go as far as we can tomorrow. Having a, had a funny couple of days really, I'm on some antibiotics and Stu's feeling brilliant today so we're just just gonna head back to Dingle. Tomorrow regroup ourselves a bit. Half a tank? 70. You think 80? That's half a tank. Well Stu's not himself today I can tell. Oh, there you go. How close was I? He's got to get himself a treat and I think he'll get me one too. It's just not 100% right for some reason. I don't know why. We've come back to Dingle. I don't know where we're going to park up. It's just a bit of a funny day today. The weather's a bit meh. We realise we've only got a week left, but uh, it's gone so quick. It's unbelievable. I wish I'd walked more. I don't know why I didn't. Here he is. Oh, he's got treats. That might perk him up a little bit. Hmm? What did you get? Oh, oh my God. A, How many treats? I got, I got How, something for now. How many is there of us? And something for later. That's yours. You've got two whispers, different types. Thank you. And I've got a crunch in there. Oh, salty caramel whisper. Well, wow, well, let me show this to people. Look at that. I don't get out of there, I don't know. Salted caramel whisper. That sounds amazing. 
on all levels. <laughs> Come on, guys. He's reversing. He's parking. I'm going to try the salted caramel. Give you the. It must be brand new out. I've never seen it before. Salted caramel, this one. We find a secluded spot overlooking the bay just outside Dingle with enough space for one van. Your destination on the left. And what a view. And we sit and have a very reflective, mad conversation for about an hour. I've lost my way a bit, to be honest. What, generally in life or just mm. today? Both. We have lunch and we catch up on a few YouTube channels we follow. Anyone know how to stop? Autoplay. Please let me know if you know. And notice Stu says absolutely nothing when he finds my hair in his sandwich, the joys of filming. So we've got our act together. Went okay. to the... Well... I don't know about that. <laughs> okay, so we sort of got our act together and we've just come and parked um, overlooking back at Dingle Town. And we're just having a <laughs> nice cup of tea, watched... Uh, a video, one of uh, Life's Too Short's videos. Yeah, it was their last France. Their last France one we were watching. I've just seen someone walk past with a hat that I might consider getting Stu for Christmas. <laughs> a lot of people out walking because it's their bank holiday today. Oh, it's course, a Monday, yeah, it's their yeah, bank holiday it's Monday. Busy, so it? Dingle was um, quite busy when we drove yeah. through. But, uh, Dingle was quite quiet. Yeah. No, well, no, it was, I just said he wasn't. Dingle was fairly busy. You had your head down looking at your iPhone, so you didn't see Dingle, <laughs> in fairness. I saw Dingle as I drove through it. What I saw of Dingle, it was very quiet. Yeah, that was because you were looking at your feet. <laughs> I think it's such a long trip. I just said to this as we parked up, actually, that, you know, this is not a holiday now. It's This is living. Stu came out with the words when we parked up. And it, we just, like, pulled up, and then Stu just sits <laughs> and <profound>. goes... <laughs> This is not a holiday, it's life. I know, it's the way you said it. Like, I know, but this you know, on holiday, you know, this you, is you life. need to do this, you need to do that, you need to, you know, you, you tend to be at a higher pace. Yeah, but I'm like, well, this is a good thing or is this a bad thing? It's just life. You know, it's, well, I guess what I was saying, it's okay to have yeah. slow days. And We've had a few slow days, days so I won't that. lie. has been a long trip, so it's... Um, so, not, so, are you worn down by now then or not? Are you tired? Oh, here now? we go. No, 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 but are you tired? No. Huh. You're misunderstanding me. I'm like, we haven't stopped. <laughs> this is agreement as usual. <laughs> you can't even agree how, how the trip's going. <laughs> if this is life, I'll take it. We're not disagreeing. We've had... We just have different opinions. I even can't even agree on the statement. Stu's got a headache. I've got a stomping headache. So a stomping that's, headache, that's, that's, not that's just not a headache. Mood, to be honest. No, and an upset it's okay. stomach. It's life. No, no one's judging you. No, Stu's no. just having his second chocolate. <laughs> and you and I will know what for. Is there anyone going? I'm windy, but the problem is when I'm windy, <laughs> there's a bit of. <laughs> Well, I don't uh, laugh at you. Me. <laughs> you make me laugh. We're actually sitting in the front of the van now. Yeah, we're starting to do this a bit more, yeah, aren't we? Yeah, we've had our sandwich in the front. It's just the right view more than anything else. Yeah. It's easy to sit here and we're just chatting and yeah. we don't feel like turning the seats around at this yeah, point. Yeah, we can't even be asked to do that. Now, this Land Rover really took our fancy and was obviously this guy's pride and joy. Do you know where you're looking? Yeah. Very dark. Yeah. Okay. The green dot. We've decided to go for a walk. Oh, Jesus. It's all right. I'm just teaching him where to look. As you can see, Stu's feeling a lot better. <laughs> 
<laughs> Crap, actually. We're going to go for a walk. We're going to go for a walk. I don't know why we're saying this, but we're going for a walk. Well, because we're going to take you with us, that's why. We're going to bring you with us on this exciting walk. We're going up there. Yeah, we're we'll literally just going up there. But you know what? We'll show you yards. anyway. Let's go. Let's do it. Dingle's over there. Okay. So it's about three kilometres that way. I'm being told off because my sense of direction is so bad. <laughs> it is really bad. We stayed over there, just beyond there. But it was very rough. And it was we really rough. morning when Dad's taken a picture of the waves. And Stu's just said, where did we stay where it was rough? And I've just way. gone somewhere over this way. <laughs> well. It's just not my thing directions. I do get in, I do drive Stu mad with my sense of direction. You're either born with it or you're not. Now we think that this may be one of those Napoleonic watchtowers, but we're not 100% sure and we couldn't find out. So if you know, would you please let us know in the comments. There's the lighthouse that we walked to when it was very windy that day. Literally, <laughs> the pennies just dropped. Now do you know where you are? Yes. So, so we were parked over there yes, and we walked here, we walked. but it was very breezy, if you remember. Yes, it was. And it was very dangerous by the cliffs at yep. the time. We went back and the rain just came in yep. and then it got really rough. <laughs> and I remember that now. I'm going to be really sad, although can't be sad, just be glad you've been, was one of, our, uh, one of the comments that was left. It's so true. I'm sort of sad that we're leaving Ireland in a week or so. Um, but I know I'm going to be back. I'm going to be back for many more months of my life because I just want to see the whole place. Um, it's just been just fantastic. I've just, we both have just absolutely loved it. What's not to like? Huh? Just absolutely breathtaking. Well, we had a great laugh on a walk, which is exactly what we needed and smiles returned to our faces. And now I've got to catch Stuart because he's going to put the drone up and he'll be mad that I'm not back at the van. van. <laughs> tranquility of Dingle Bay and we'll see you in the next episode. So thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video then help us grow the channel by subscribing, liking and commenting and we'll hopefully see you in the next episode of Our Travels in Harry.